He's absolute quality. I can't describe him enough. He's absolute quality after that game. Welcome back to the channel. Today, it's the Millwall versus Derby County watch along at home slash review of the game. So let's just get straight into it. Currently, the home side, Millwall, they sit eighth in the league, two points off that sixth spot, looking to get into the playoffs. Having a very good run of form since the turn of Christmas when they got Guy Rao in around that uh, winter period and he's really done well for him. Former manager of ours, Millwall, in the previous game that they played against us at home, we lost 1-0 to Millwall. I think it was from a corner or a crossing, something like that. And Millwall won 1-0 on that one. Derby, us the away side, we currently sit 12th, five points off that playoff position. I did a whole video talking about that. I'll try and leave one of those cards at the top so uh, you lot can go and click on that and watch that video where I talk about will Derby County get in the playoffs. Now both sides, Millwall and Derby, are coming off the back before this break on a very good result. Millwall, they beat Nottingham Forest 3-0 at Nottingham Forest. That's a quality result. Nottingham Forest are in the top six and have been quality all season, but Millwall went there and got a really good result against them. Derby, we got a 3-0 win against Blackburn at home. Blackburn are just above us in the table looking for that playoff position. And we did really well against them. Louis Sibley, I think on his starting debut in the league, scored brilliant goal from him, about 20, 25 yards out. Hit it on his left foot and it bent outwards into the top corner. So ahead of this game, What's my score prediction? I'm going to say Derby 2, Millwall 1. I think we're going to beat Millwall 2-1 away today. It's obviously a big ask. Millwall are a quality side, very tough side to beat. Strong side. Gary Rao always sets up a great side. But Derby, I think Waggon with his strength thing, he's going to do well. Hopefully he starts ahead of Chris Martin today because I think we need that bit of strength up top. And Josef Soon, I think he's going to score because of his skill and ability. That's if he's in the team. That's if he's in the team, that is. Because I don't think he'll start and I hope he doesn't start. I want... Really the same team to sort of start from Blackburn away. Keep it continual off that decent form. But let's get straight into the watch along. Right, it's currently half time. It's Millwall 1, Derby 1. Millwall scored on about the 15th minute mark, if I'm correct, through Smith. Big header. Cross comes in, we're caught on the break. Millwall, you could always see them doing that. They were sitting men behind the ball, soaking up the pressure, like the commentator said. And then you could see the breakaways coming. And they're probably second breakaway, first proper chance of the game, and Millwall take it. It's a good header, poor from us from not stopping the cross. But then I'm, I'm not really sure what minute we scored, but Louis Sibley, lovely quick feet, gets around the Millwall defence and it opens up for him. And he sticks it in the top right corner. Fantastic finish. Louis Sibley, two goals in two now from him. And it's brilliant from him. Absolutely brilliant. He's looking a top player. He also nearly scored again, but Millwall keeper made a really good save with his left hand. Once again, Sibley using his quick feet, gets around the Millwall defence, takes shot, but really good reflex save from the Millwall keeper. He's a decent keeper in. But Millwall, towards the end, that first off, started to create some more chances. They had a breakaway where Wisdom got caught on his heels, but it was Rooney who gave the pass away. Wisdom got caught on his heels. The Millwall player broke away, took a shot, and Hayman makes a really good save, but it was a golden chance for Millwall. And, you know, they do have pace on the break in up top, so we've got to be careful of that. If we keep going on this second half, I still think it sort of grabs this game. It could go either way. Sibley is on fire. What a game he had today. In that first half, he got the equaliser for us. In that second half, he turned on the star, didn't he? He took his chances. In the first half, he missed two decent chances after his equaliser. But in that second half, brilliant from him. Waggon holds the ball up well, lays it off to Sibley. Sibley, good finish from him. Cool and composed, takes Millwall straight out of the game. 2-1, we're leading. Millwall start putting some pressure on. And then, I think, it was it Chris Martin? Squared the ball to Sibley. A neat little finish, barely touched it, seemed to go in slow motion, rolls into the bottom right corner. A hat-trick for the 18-year-old in his second league start. He's got three goals in two games now. Brilliant from Sibley and he's, he's absolute quality. I can't describe him enough. He's absolute quality after that game. We've won 3-2 now. Millwall got a goal though, made it a bit more nervy at the very end. I think it was... Bod Varson, who got the goal, came off the crossbar and then went in. It was the goal line technology which announced it was in. wasn't really the classic Guy Routes type of game that it was. I didn't think Millwall were that compact and like composed as a team in terms of their structure. The back four seemed very open. But there we go. Derby with one away and in London. That is mental 
from this season because this season we haven't won away in London. I don't think we've got a result away in London, but we've done it. You know, we've won again and we needed to win that to have a chance of keeping the playoff hopes alive and we've done that today. So we'll move on to the next game now against Reading. Come on, you Rams. If you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe if you have enjoyed this video. We're going on to 2K. Like the video as well and comment your opinions about that game down below and comment how good is Louis Sibley. I'll see you in the next one.